Mike, uh, you've played the game tough over the years. I can't recall you being suspended, uh, if at all, by the National Hockey League. Do you have any on your resume? Oh, Mike, me or Mike yeah. Johnson? No, Mike Rupp. <laughs> I, oh, I, I no, forgot, yeah, actually. Uh, Rupp, you should have known when he introduced squared. me. You should have known it when he introduced me as a, a tough player. He was talking to you and not me, right? <laughs> no, I, I, I assume you racked up quite a few suspensions in the day. So. I, I have been suspended, actually. So there you go. Right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have not. Um, you know, I uh, fortunately have not been suspended. So uh, I don't know uh, how that uh, how that tastes or how that uh, feels having a you know, sit out a couple games. Well, I tell you what, I mean, you're a goal scorer now for sure. I mean, you can do it all for the Pittsburgh Penguins, you know, and tell us what it was like last night uh, at MSG. Uh, they call it the world's most famous arena to get your first ever National Hockey League hat trick. What a thrill it was for you, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it was it was definitely great. Um, you know, not to sound, uh, throw out the cliche, but um, we, we definitely just, all I care about is getting that, those two points. It's a it was a big weekend for us with a home and home uh, against the division division team, and uh, we're, we started to muster together a little bit of uh, consistency over the last uh, stretch of games, and, and we wanted to carry it in and have a big weekend, and, and we did. And obviously, uh, you know, from a personal level, it was it was definitely a, uh, one of the highlights of my career, and it was it was an exciting night. Now I know it was your son's birthday yesterday. Now, did you promise him that? And if so, that's uh, that's fairly impressive. Yeah, I didn't throw the promise out, but he actually, um, you know, from my days playing with the Devils, um, my son uh, doesn't really care for the Rangers too much, so it was kind of like a little joke in the house where, you know, uh, he said to me about three days before the game, that, you know, Dad, uh, on my birthday, I just wanted you to score against the Rangers, and I said, buddy, I'll try, and uh, I talked to him at 5 o'clock right when I was walking into the rink, he was at his birthday party, and I just wanted to... Uh, you know, wish him a happy birthday again, and he said it again right before he hung up. He goes, Dad, don't forget, you have to score against the uh-huh. I'm like, all right, we're going to see what we can do, buddy. So he was he was really happy. Uh, I spoke to my wife, gave, gave him the phone after the game, and he, he couldn't go to sleep last night. He was up pretty late, so I, I, I talked to him, and, and he's happy. I brought the pucks home for him. Mike, eight goals this season so far, your career best already. Uh, what's been the difference uh, playing with Pittsburgh this season? I mean, the, the general assumption would be that you're getting more opportunity you're getting a few more scoring chances that maybe you had in previous stops. Yeah, it's just uh, I think that that was one of the main the main attractions too. I mean, besides the team being a um, you know how how the Pittsburgh Penguins were last year with winning the Stanley Cup and the way that they're built to, to I believe you know be on top for a while and, and compete for the Cup. That was the, the main attraction. But they just uh, I felt like they valued me as a player and what I brought to the table and. Um, you know, uh, I, I feel confidence from the team, from the coaching staff. Um, the players are, uh, it's been great. I've been, I've been able to, um, we, have a, we have a very effective fourth line that I'm a part of, and I'm able to get uh, the odd shifts here and there with some pretty darn good hockey players on the, on the top end too. So um, it's, it's something that I'm just, uh, uh, you know, I can't ask for anything more than that. I'm just having fun, and, and, and hockey's fun right now. And I think that's one thing fans don't realize is that when the team has a lot of injuries, that there are players like yourself, Mike, who, who have more opportunities, get a little bit more ice time, play with some different players, and show some skills that maybe most fans don't know they have. And, and all the injuries you guys have suffered has maybe offered you a little bit more in, uh, as far as opportunity and ice time? Yeah, I think so. I think that it's, um, you know, we, we had to deal with quite a bit of adversity over the last, um, well, geez, I guess this whole, whole yeah. beginning half of the se- or part of the season right now. And, uh, it's it's created some opportunities for players like myself, and uh, um, you know it's it's uh, it's good that the team we have a, a bit of a, a swagger to us when we're playing, where we we feel like that we you know uh, are not going to lose hockey games, and, and it's something that's great. You know where we can have uh, obviously Sid and, and Gino come through uh, quite often in, in big ways for this hockey club, but there's also players uh, you know and Tyler Kennedy's. Um, before he got hurt, uh, he was coming through. It seemed like every night, and we've had Pascal Dupuis been throwing up some goals and uh, and coming through for the hockey club too. So it's been a it's been a team effort. Power play from Wayne Gretzky's restaurant, continuing with Mike Rupp from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Mike's got eight goals this season, and Mike, we talk about the increased opportunities you've had. You're seeing some power play time now too on the second unit. What's that been like for you? Yeah, it's it's pretty simple for myself to uh, you know I understand my role on the 
any power play unit is tough to be in front of the net there, and that's that's really where I, where I would like to be and to use my size to make it tough on the goalie to see the puck and then, um, you know, hopefully get a piece of some coming by or, or stick, stick in the front for a rebound. So that's the main objective. Uh, obviously, the personnel in, in Pittsburgh uh, on both power play units is is pretty exceptional. So, um, you know, if I'm able to get out there and get the, the odd power play, then and that's great. If you know, uh, if not, then uh, that means that the, the power play is uh, working pretty good. So that's a good thing too. Now, Rupper, you won the Stanley Cup with the Devils in 2003, and you came back in 2000 in the fall of 2003 and played with the Devils again. Now, joining the Penguins after they won the Stanley Cup, have you seen anything different that has allowed them to avoid the Stanley Cup hangover and kind of starting slow and, and seeming not to skip a beat and, and do quite well despite all the injuries through, through the first uh, third of the season? Um. Yeah, I don't. Uh I don't know if there's one particular thing. The one thing that I'm really impressed at with this with this team is the the I don't know how to really put it in words. It's the, the youthful, um, you know, the, it's a young team, and and the hunger level is is pretty high. You feel that from training camp. Uh, as soon as the first time I stepped on the ice, the team's hungry. You know, not that not that any other teams that are coming off the Stanley Cup aren't. I think there may be some complacency in, in, for a stretch, and, and I feel here um, Van Biles has done a great job of addressing things when, when maybe they start to tweak uh, or sorry start, start to creep into our game, and we tweak a few things, and, and I feel that the the, the goal and, and to understand what kind of grind it's going to be is is uh, is is understand uh, we understand that as the players, and and we also you know we've also seen. Quite a few teams who people don't consider to be um, elite teams that have played us pretty darn good. So uh, you know those those you got that target on your back, and I think that as long as we're you know able to address those things and keep focused, that uh, we'll we'll continue to win. So part of it would be the fact that there is that opportunity for the Pittsburgh Penguins to be so good for so many years, and 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 the youth the youthful core that you mentioned realize that this is a really an opportunity they can't afford to pass up and. And they they have to be good uh, right away uh, while they have these opportunities. Yeah, it's um, you know we you just you just see the 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 passion, the energy, the drive of, of players like uh, Sidney Crosby and you know Kenny Malkin, and Jordan Stahl, who you know I, I feel like sometimes gets lost in the in the mix when you're when you're talking about uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins as far as the lead players. That that kid's. Uh, the kid is a star in the making, and, and he's a, a heck of a hockey player and on both sides of the puck. And, and, and those guys are, you know, those guys and, and Mark Andre Fleury, that obviously the driving force of this team, and um, they're they're guys that bring it in practice every day. They compete. You know, uh, uh, any any kid that wants to know why uh, why Flowers a, a great goaltender, you know, come to practice and you watch him, he's all over the ice and he's having fun. And uh, it's it's something that's contagious in this organization, and it, I think it just really makes everyone just enjoy coming to the rink every day. Mike, we've got about a minute left here before we have to take a break. Now, you were busy on Broadway last night, but uh, did you get a chance to see the Keith Ballard-Thomas Focoon situation in Atlanta? And if so, uh, what do you think? I mean, you've got to feel bad for both parties in this case, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I caught that today. I heard <laughs> about it last night. Um, obviously, it's a terrible situation. Um, you know, I, I, you know, you just you hope and you just you you say a prayer for uh, Bokun that everything's going to be okay with him and uh, and his health. And at the same time, you got to feel for Keith Ballard because it's, I mean, we all have had moments in the game where uh, you, you get frustrated, maybe you yak out of character, or you do something that uh, that maybe isn't uh, appropriate, and uh, you know, unfortunately, that a result for it um, in that situation was terrible. So, you know, you just got to feel for both. Both sides, like you said. No question. Mike, we always appreciate your time. Thank you very much for doing this. Congratulations on your first hat trick last night. Maybe you'll get another one this season. You never know. They say they come in bunches. You're off to a great start. Your hockey club continues to roll. Mike, all the best. Thanks for your time. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.